hello guys what's going on welcome back to the ryan show now i haven't done a video in a while like um other than gaming videos saying that i haven't done a gaming video in a while so we'll get back to them in a bit i've just been a bit busy with work and things now i'm gonna start off now because the year has just started now we're into 2019 and the lark season is about to start back um as of april so i thought why not do some more lark videos um for new starters and different you know different people who want to know different things Obviously, I know I'm not the best in knowledge as it comes to certain topics and areas of the different games and systems I go to. But from what I've done and what I've experienced, I will give you my best views and my best my best input. Now, since this is the first episode, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a character and the basics of how everything works on, you know, what you should decide to do if you want to do this and that. So... You come into the Profound Decisions website now, it's uh, www.profounddecisions.co.uk, yeah? So it's just, you know, it's that there. So you come to the home website and then you click on Empire, right? I think they only run Empire anymore, but they used to run a few things like Odyssey and Maelstrom, different things like that. Right, so you've got Empire here, yeah, yeah, it is the only one they do now. Um, so you can come in, you can read about them, look. Uh, so this guy, Matt Pendon here, he is... He's, he's the owner, he's the guy who's made all this happen. Um, so there we are, started in 2004, look, and it's still going to today. I think I was reading something, there's about 2,000 people that go there every event, so that's four events a year. Uh, so I'll show you when they are now, so if you're wondering. So your tickets you can buy now, look, it does say £70, but if it's your first time going and for other things, like if you're in the military, um, if you're a student, you get to, you pass for concessions, there's a few others, oh there we are, look. Student, full-time member of the armed services, a pensioner, or receive state benefits, you're, le you're eligible for the concession price. So if you click that, it goes on to £55, okay? Now, you can also qualify, like I said, if you're a first-time player. Uh, you just have to give a code in. Now, I don't, I, I don't know what my name is. I don't, I don't know, I would, yeah, just look at my address, because I'm not clicking off here. Uh, you've got to give a code you have. I'm not going to give you mine, because loads of people say, you know, give me a code, because they get money off on certain things. I mean, that's fair enough. You get um, money off. Anyway, you don't need the code. Well, I say you need the code. You need it if you're doing it online, I think. If you're doing it on the gate and it's your first time, um, I think that's fine. I'm not fully aware though. I mean, I've gone and paid on the first gate uh, myself. The first time I went, I went and said it was my first time and I had it for the dis uh, discounted price. And I turned up with a gate, uh, which was 55 quid. Let's have a sip of my drink now. So we'll go to account look. So, um, oh sorry, we'll have, a, we'll have a look through the site first. You've got the event site. So at the minute it is by Milton Keynes, uh, Dadford Road Campsite, that's the place I forgot where it was. Um, it's pretty easy to find. You come along the M4 for me because I'm from South Wales. Uh, but you know it's, it's pretty central in the, in, in the UK. And I am aware that not many people know about the out of character areas and the in character areas so for example uh you have to have an in character tent to sleep in character so there's got to be like a canvas styled bell tent or uh an a-frame tent made out of canvas as well so it locks in character as if it would if you were you know in in the world of empire so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go on to the character creation uh, let me go down to characters. So these are all the characters I've made when it loads up. Don't think yeah, so there's my empire group. <laughs> there we are, look. <laughs> I shouldn't be showing you this, but uh, okay. There it is, look. To be a group of assassins for money or rewards. Uh, well, I'm going to have to delete that now and I because... Yeah. Never mind. 
Right, so this is this is my favourite as character where he died. Um, his name was Bron, and he's a pretty good character. You probably saw him in the last ones. I got Archimedes in a minute, but I'm showing you how to make a character now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete him. Can I retitle the post character? Retitle character. Create Empire character. Okay. So we want to create the character. This is what you would be doing in these next uh, steps now. So you want the nations, okay? So these are all the different groups in Empire. So like if you watch Lord of the Rings or you've got Rohan, Isengard, you know, it's a sort, of, sort of like that. Uh, on Game of Thrones, you've got the Lannisters, you've got um, the Starks. So it's, it's, you know, that's, that's, that's basically what it is, okay? So these are all different groups. You've got Imperial Orcs, so I'll go through them all. And then you can read the bottom. Actually, I'll read it for you. The Imperial Orcs are the newest of the Ten Nations. They're tight-knit legions fight for land and recognition from their fellow Imperials. So they, they, they're pretty cool. I mean, they, they camp by us in the bar, uh, in, in the forest area, and they are pretty cool. I mean, if you like, you know, if you fancy playing an orc, I would go them because uh, they all play the characters quite well, and it kind of gets you in the center in there. So these are High Guard, the Highborn re Revere, the Highest Ideals. Epitomize imperial virtues. I don't know what that word is. I've never heard that word before. Reflect the noble obligations of leadership and embody the very spirit of the empire. So they sound. Right, they're kind of cool. You know, if, if you've got a costume idea for them, it'd be sort of knighty looking. And then you go to Dawn. Dawn's quite a good race, actually, because they're sort of knights as well. And uh, it's th they're sort of like medieval. That's the kind of vibe I get from being in Dawn. This is a nation that eats and drinks glory through lands that espouse the heroic ideal in quite the same way the Dawnish do. They know that great deeds are eternal. Okay, so I'll go from them now. Uh, sorry, we're missing the brass course. Now these are these are quite cool because I know quite a few people who were in the brass course, and they are quite nice people. Uh, I also like the pub in the brass course. That's quite nice. I think it's called Bugman's Bar. No, I'm thinking the wrong one. I'm thinking the wrong one. Never mind. But I like that bar. Driven by a hunger for life, to see the world's success is measured in wealth family and influence, not out of greed, but for the joy success brings. I mean, that sums them up quite well, because they are a happy, they're a happy nation. Everyone's kind of like... <laughs> ...winter folk stare down every threat with their heads unbowed, for they know that death is only the long sleep before the dawn. I mean, when I ask from Game of Thrones now, the Wildling, if that's the one, the Wildling, up north, uh, they are sort of like them. But when I actually got to Empire, they're more like, um, and I shouldn't say this because apparently it pisses them off, but they're all, they all dress like Vikings or Saxons or whatever you want to say. Yeah, you kind of get that vibe from them. And then we'll go to Varushka. Now I don't know why, but I think this is the nation where they talk with a Russian accent. For some stupid reason, but they do. Rushka is a land of harsh lessons and dark tales. The Rushkans are uh, unyielding and uncompromising. They do what must be done to keep the empire strong. Okay, 
that sums him up. I can't really say much about Verushka because I don't really know that much. It's him about Eurism. Eurism is a nation of magic where magic is king. It is a nation that understands that a single individual can change the world if they have sufficient will to do so. Okay, that's not too bad. So they, yeah, so this, uh, they're all about magic then, really. This one's my one, Navarre. Now, the Navarre are the great travellers of the Empire, direct and efficient. Few know better than they h how to use the lands of the Empire to survive and to fight. So they get they they we camp in the forest. I can't remember what it is. Um, you've got the marches, and then you've got the league. I think next, yeah. Uh, the marches will card for everything they have, stubbornly protecting what is theirs. Nature is a servant, bound with men ears and iron plowshares. The marches are quite cool. Like you see, this guy with the spear thing. They, they, loads of them have long. was from another nation but he was living with Navarre and they were all like looking at me as if I didn't belong there because obviously you can't just dress how you want you've got to dress sort of similar to your nation as we go to the league now the, the people of the league are city folk through and through they grab opportunity by the scruff of the neck because anything can rise to become a merchant prince anyone sorry so that they, they're kind of your basic nations, okay, so I'm going to go with Navarre, so you go on your ones who's in the middle, and then you just click skills. If you also click this, it'll tell you a bit more, I'll go into the Wikipedia about Navarre, and it'll tell you a little bit more about, you know, the different things. Um, so you cannot betray your enemies. It's, it's, it's different things, um, and they're for all of them. You can have a little read. Obviously, I'm not going to go into too much detail now. Now, you do get more. an event you might have another one or two per on so you can buy more stuff so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down to surgical skills because last time I went I I kind of liked the physic and the, the, apoth the apothecary stuff so I'm gonna use them so I've got another two to spend now okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use think weapon master if you click the uh, question marks it'll tell you a bit about it as well yeah two-handed weapons because my sword could be classed as two-handed weapon so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click weapon master that gives me my eight points then so all these will tell you what you can do i'll go through what you can get now so you can get thrown so that's sort of javelins for when knives throwing rocks and with dexterity two weapons pre uh, self explanatory weapon master I just read out. Marksman, you can use a bow or crossbow. Shield, you get the ability to carry a shield. Fortitude, I believe, is... Actually, I don't actually know what fortitude is. I know endurance is. It's because I haven't been in a while, so I've kind of forgotten everything. Ah, oh, it's the bleed out time, okay. So look, if you go on fortitude, your bleed out time goes up to four minutes so you get like an extra 10 seconds on the venom and an extra minute on the bleed time normal okay so 
that's what that is. And endurance as well, you get one global hit extra. So if you get hit in the chest and you've got two hit points, uh, you've then got three because you get the extra one on top. Okay. So we'll go down to heroic skills now because I don't really, um, I've never really used the heroic skills except for hero, uh, hero and stay with me. So you've got to pick hero first. Um, I can't click in now, obviously, because I've maxed out my points. But uh, stay with me. Uh, I think you get to bring someone back. Yeah, if 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 they're down, sorry, you get to bring someone back. I'll read them out through you now. We saw one hit to a bleeding companion, stop them bleeding. Yes, yeah, so you get them back up on their feet. Um, it does not restore the use of a limb that has been cleaved or impaled okay get it together so that restores three hits to a companion that does not restore same cleaved or impaled unstoppable so have a little look restore up to three lost hit points by spending a hero point okay yeah, so you get hero points a day as well. So that hero thing I just clicked, or I could have clicked, sorry, so there. Um, so that'll give me one hero point for the day, then you can buy extra ones as well. Okay. Uh, relentless. Five seconds of role play slam in your hand. Oh, yeah, so that basically you can uh, kind of regain your limb if it's been cleaved or impaled. So, like, sort of, it's if it's been, like, dislocated, you can, like, whack it on a on the ground and kind of get it back in place by using relentless strike down as well that um i think that knocks yeah th that, that knocks someone down so if you've got strike down the person you make contact with has to fall on the ground uh mortal blow Mortal Blow uh, gives them a certain amount of time that they can get back up in, I believe. For example, or, or, or it knocks them down completely. You'll have to read up about that because I'm still not 100% on that one. Cleave and strike you, hit literally cleave off a part of their body. So if you hit their arm, you cleave the arm off. And then you've got the extra hero points for hero points. So that just explains it all in more detail. So let me get off that now magical skills so you've got the magicians so you have to click the basic one first and you get the extra mana and you can have extra spells and these are all the different laws and stuff you can study so in the different laws you've got the different spells um i can't remember what it is now though oh here they are so realm law choose the ritual if you want So, um, let me go back a second. So there is a place where you can find all the spells. We're having trouble finding them now. Ah, oh, right. Spell cast in here is. So here's all the spells here, so you just click on them and you can read them, uh, there's different categories as well, obviously it depends on what laws you do to what you can do, uh, and you can also do, um, what are they call the rituals as well, that's the one, so what I've picked now is I've picked uh, church again, uh, physic and apothecary, so these two are kind of um, healing, healing ones, this is the basic healing one, um, physic gives you a bit of a, a bit more professional and then the apothecary is the ability to make potions so it's pretty cool uh, I would go into more detail about that but this video is running quite over time now because I've gone into a bit of detail over them things so after then you can make stuff like armor or add things onto weapons improve shields improve armor different things like that so you can give them like bonus
heroes um you get in game some things like that as well religious skills as well so if you want to be go down the religious route um you can do a few different things um i'm not going to go into detail with them because you can kind of guess where they are uh dedication so that means you can dedicate your um you know yourself to the the practice and uh you get to you get to do these things then um i'll have a little look into it actually yeah you get things called laws right which you use for religion or rituals as well i think you use out for okay once you've got lows, you can use them for all these then you just click on these to find out what they do um which i'm not going to go into too much detail on it now but the the most important thing is to find out something that you like and you can imagine yourself doing because in a million years i wouldn't have thought that i'd enjoy doing these three i thought i'd be all, all up here literally all up here but no i thought i've gone kind of off combat now the only reason i've picked that is because you can get attacked randomly and I don't want to be attacked randomly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a surgeon again uh, with my weapon and I'm also going to be a broker as well so I am in the running I am going to go into uh, a military unit I think Wait, shall I have a military unit or a group these all do different things as well. I'll explain to you what they do before I get in them. So at every event, now this is every event, okay? Wherever you pick as your resource, your personal resources, it gives you every event. So a business gives you nine crowns. Congregation produces five doses of lau and provides ten votes in the synod. The synod. Farm produces nine crowns. Fleet can trade with foreigners to produce items or money or engage in privateering to produce random resources produces 12 units of one rare material that are used by an artisan to make magical items see like i said earlier on herb gardens that gives you herbs which are used by the physics and apothecaries you know for healing or making potions mana sites then you can get mana for spell casting rituals uh you get seven of them actually every event uh military unit then so you can send uh, a small army to do work and then uh, in, in the uh, the off time i think it's called or something like that something like that it's called off time or whatever uh, and then you've got the mine which produces 12 units of one rare material same as the other one up there which is the forest well now what i'm gonna click um because what i liked last time was uh you could send this to anywhere and it tell you what you're gonna get so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the military unit now and i'm gonna go i'm gonna go for a military unit i think uh, so i'm gonna go for a military unit okay so we go down to details now and We're going to have the same name, but an E on the end. So we're going to be Braum again. Uh, so the archetypes, they tell you what they all are. I'm going to be um, a broker because I'm going to be a business person. Uh, human, of course, I'm going to be a human. These are all different races you can go as well, okay? So I'll just, uh, Cambians, Changeling, Friars, dra Drafis, whatever they are. I don't know what, I actually don't know what they are. Meros. And Nagas. So Nagas like snake people. Meros are. I forgot what Meros are actually. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna have a little read. Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what they are, so I'm gonna have a little look. So Meros are touched by the realm of day and night. So they've got like marks of waves and stuff on their faces. Touched by the realm of winter. Drafias are. Changelings. So they have like um, antelopes, they have ram horns, cambion too, and briars have marks of wood on them, or like uh, the wood sort of people, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but the naga people are like snakey people, 
fish now. I get around all the time because I used to call them blue fish people. So I used to get around as well. Uh, so my idea, so the group, so this is where you find your group. If you if you if you're not in a particular group or whatever, you can make your own um, group. But I'm in uh, the feared, which is here. Colvin in Colvin of the Arden. And we're in Bracken Song. Okay. So this is the area now where you can type in sort of your characters. You can fill in some of your characters' details. So this kind of helps you get in the character a bit. So you can kind of make your character here and then read back and kind of go, oh yes, I need to do this because this is who my character is going to be. Different things like that, okay? For example, what's your char main character's in goal? So mine would be to make, to make as much money as he can to be successful. Uh, what is your character's place in the Great Dance? So the Great Dance, okay, that is... Um, Navar believes that they should be on the right... Like, everyone should be on the right path in life, I believe. This is where I got from it last time I read, but I was slightly confused, <laughs> right? And they believe that um, everyone should be on that path in the Great Dance. So what is your character's place in the Great Dance? So my character's place would be... Um, I don't know, I don't know, I can't answer that one, it confuses me all the time, <laughs> I might even be saying it wrong. Do you have any offs that you've marked as brands or tattoos? No, because that just gets complicated, I mean if you want to um, dedicate yourself to a certain group or something, they might ask you to have certain marks or tattoos. Uh, Navar tend to have tattoos anyway, but you'll just have to read up on that or speak to people of a group you join in different things. And then you've got a character background which you can do as well. So you can say like, um, I was born in, because um, they've got the Empire map on here as well. So you can say where you was born, where you was brought up, um, maybe a bit about your family, you know, why you're where you are now. But um, it's, it's, it's all pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the character now. So that's my character saved, like there's my CID number there, okay. I think that might be the number you actually give uh, if you want the discount. Um, you know, I'm not telling you to use it, but if you if you do, then there we are. Because um, I, do, I don't know if you might be lucky enough to get away with it. Downtime, that's it. Off time. Downtime is called. So downtime is um, is the place where you can send your army or ships or you know do what you're doing out of character. I should say. Uh, bonded items as well, so y um, that'll be like uh, your sword or your uh, if it's been bonded with magic, so they that'd be marked up there for the next event as well. Uh, so then you've got the option to always edit your character or delete or delete them. Uh, and at the bottom of the page, it always says the next date for the event, which is the twenty sixth of April. Uh, why I've just clicked that, I've, I've gone on that or whatever. Uh, it's got the price um, and it's also got contact numbers as well. What I like to do is I like to, uh, well what I have liked to have done in the past is I'd like to ring them and actually book them over the phone. I don't know why but I prefer to do that myself. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is going to be a new series now so I'm going to start doing Empire videos on um, how to do different things. For example, explaining how things work. Like the next video will be to do with the the actual resources and the money you get in character. So I'll be explaining all that. So make sure you watch that, guys. If you've liked, please like the video and subscribe. It does make a massive difference. And I hope you enjoy your day.